Welcome to NCIX Tech Tips. Have you ever found Office, Microsoft Office, not like a physical office, to be not quite portable enough or not quite affordable enough? Office 365 is a new way of looking at Office that addresses both of those potential concerns. Meet the new Office. With Office 2010, Microsoft added the ability on certain versions to install it on multiple computers. That has been amped up. With an Office 365 subscription, which is about $100 a year, you can install a full Office suite. That is not just Word, Excel, and PowerPoint. It includes Access, Outlook, Publisher, anything you could want on five computers at a time. So it basically allows you to have full Office productivity suites on your own notebook, your own computer, your wife's computer, your kids, and then like one other kid with one subscription. It also gives you access to an additional 20 gigs of SkyDrive storage, giving you a total of 27 with the 7 gigs that everyone gets for free. You also get the benefit of Office On Demand, which we'll talk a little bit more about later, but it allows you to push a full copy of Office wherever you could want. And finally, you get 60 free Skype minutes per month, just kind of included, yay, as a value add. From a cost perspective, you have to look at it in terms of dollars and cents. <laughs> Uh, if you have even four people in your household who are all using Office and you're upgrading every new iteration cycle, so let's say about every three years to take advantage of the latest features, you're going to be spending about $560 every three years on Office upgrades. If you use Office 365 for three years, then you'll spend about $300, which means that in that three-year period, you're spending half as much. So you could go, okay, well, I don't upgrade with every iteration. Maybe you used Office... 97 until Office XP came out and you skipped one. So now you look at it and go, okay, well now I'm spending the same amount within that two upgrade cycles, so six years, about the same, except every time a new iteration comes out, you get that new version of all of the software you're using. Now while there are free options available, so SkyDrive is awesome, but it's pretty limited. So you got that seven gigs of storage, so you do get more storage with 365, but it's also very limited in terms of the functionality. If you've ever used the SkyDrive spreadsheet application, there's a lot of stuff that you just can't do on it, and that's where 365 comes in, because you have a full copy of Excel that you can take a brand new computer and push to and use it, and as soon as you're done using it, you log off, you reboot the computer, it's gone, but whatever you've created has now been uploaded or saved to a disk or you can store it on SkyDrive or do whatever you need to do with it. It gives you a lot of flexibility. Now one of the main reasons to use all Microsoft software and applications is intercompatibility. So here I'm logged into, there's actually a trial, you can get 30 days for free. So I'm logged into my Office account and I'm going to click on Word document for Office On Demand. It has no files existing whatsoever on this computer. So this is a scenario that you've probably run into before. You have like a PowerPoint or Excel or whatever other kind of document, you need to edit it. And the computer that you have handy, maybe you borrow a friend's computer or something like that, you're trying to make a last minute change, doesn't have a copy of Office on it. So you go, okay, so you download it and you go, okay, I just gotta make a quick change. Oh no, all the formatting's messed up. Because it's all within the Office ecosystem, so Office applications, SkyDrive, all Microsoft, you don't have to worry about there being any kind of nonsense. Word automatically save changes to the normal document template. Do you want to load it? Sure, let's go ahead and do that. Within that period of time, we have installed, sort of, we're streaming, a fully working copy of Word 2013, so we don't have to worry about any kind of nonsense when we need to do something on the go. Remember guys, this is in addition to the five computers that you can install Office on permanently. You get one temporary one that you can take around with you. While we focused on the personal version, there is a business version as well. That it's less per user, but you don't get the same kind of flexibility. Each user doesn't get five installs, for example, but there's some functionality that's built in that is a little bit different or very important for business. So, you know, you have things like Link that are included, uh, things like Exchange are included. So some of the more professional style applications that you don't need as an individual are included, but you also have the advantage where your IT manager doesn't have to run around to every computer in the building, you know, typing in product keys and upgrading to a new version of Office or whatever else is going on ever again. Because with an Office 365 subscription, you just add each user as you go, 
and they'll always have the latest applications and they'll be able to work on the go, whether it's on their desktop machine, their laptop machine, or even something like a Windows 8 smartphone. Thanks for watching this episode of NCIX Tech Tips, and don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this from your favorite e-tailer, NCIX.com.